This is my DIY lab bench power supply using nothing but a laptop adapter and ten dollars worth of supplies. It's pretty cool. You can control the voltage. You can control the maximum current, and then you can set it to go to the terminals. So, in order to make it, the first thing you're gonna need is a um, laptop adapter. Uh, this doesn't even have to be a laptop adapter. It could just be any power adapter. And you're gonna cut off the end. If you have a Lenovo, HP, or Dell adapter, you're gonna see three wires. Otherwise, you usually see two. Uh, so if you have three wires, two of them is gonna be a uh, ground and VCC, but one of them is gonna be an ID pin. And in order to activate the voltage, uh, you're gonna have to place a resistor there. So in order to find the resistor value, I would just search up uh, Lenovo 65 watt ID pin resistor value, and you'll probably see something online. So you can see on here, uh, in that little white bundle is the resistor, and I have two wires coming out. One is ground and one is VCC. And uh, these ground and VCC wires, they're going into the v VIN plus and VIN uh, minus on this buck boost converter. So this uh, this is converter I got on AliExpress for I think ten dollars. Uh, just search up DC um, buck boost converter and make sure the maximum wattage is at least like 10 higher than what your laptop adapter is. And uh, this one's nice because it has a screen and uh, current controls too. But there's ones where it's, there's no screen, you just use a screwdriver to control it. So it depends on uh, how cheap you want to go. And then these other two wires, they're the out minus and out plus. And these just come in and uh, lead to these banana jack terminals. So, right now, uh, so I can set the voltage to, say, 5 volts. Perfect. And then I can set the maximum current to, say, I don't know, I'll just set it to 400 milliamps. And then I just press this I button, which will send it out. And now, I've got a multimeter here. If I turn that on. And I'll place that over here. And I, you can see, you can see there's five point nine, four point nine one, uh, volts on the multimeter. So I mean, the downside of paying ten dollars for this is it's not they're very exact, but it's pretty good for hobbyists who don't want to spend like hundreds of dollars on, um, online high-end, multiple-terminal power supplies. So yeah, that's it.